Welcome friends, uh, in this video tutorial I am going to tell you about the different types of modification of histone tails and what they means. That means what is what are the effects of those kind of modifications in histone tail. As we have talked before that this histone are arranged themselves in such a way or histone subunits rather are arranged themselves in such a way that this end terminal region of their protein unit is uh, getting towards outside and C terminal is embedded inside. Now those end terminals are really long and they can be easily modified with the different enzymes and different types of modifications including phosphorylation, methylation and acetylation can take place. Uh, this, these are the major kind of modification that can be done uh, onto those end terminal ends. Now what, why these modifications are important? Now in previous lectures we have talked about the uh, this uh, nucleosome remodeling and we have seen this remodeling allow us uh, better accessibility to the DNA and this accessibility is really important because uh, without this accessibility, we cannot utilize DNA because DNA is condensed inside uh, this nucleosome construction. So we need to unwrap the DNA to make out, make uh, something out of the DNA structure, right? So if we need to transcribe some element from the DNA, we need to mm, access that DNA. And this transcription and all the other different types of events, we, what we need to do, or replication or something like that. So these physiological processes uh, we need to do, we must uh, un unwrap the DNA from those uh, histone proteins and that can be achieved by several rounds of this kind of modifications. Now these modifications are nothing but tagging. So uh, every time we talk about modification or histone uh, tail modification you, you must think about the tagging. Now if you tag something with some uh, some kind of stick, uh, sticky material like that, that means it is destined to do, do that. So this kind of tagging, when the cell need uh, to make much more transcript, it tag uh, this DNA in such a way that DNA is unrevealed, it is unwrapped and the transcription can is out when it needs to silence a part of the gene which is very very lethal for, for that cell in that particular environment. Uh, suppose a bacteria cell which produces a protein when it uh, need uh, that protein inside uh, the uh, hot environments, uh, the heat shock proteins they need to produce. But suddenly the bacteria is fall into a very cold climate, so they so they do not no, need uh, to produce those kind of uh, heat shock proteins under this cold climate environment, cold cold type of climate, right? So they need to stop the production of these heat shock proteins. So they need to silence the genes which are responsible for making uh, those heat shock proteins. Okay, so in those cases they are silencing the gene for making them, and sometimes. Uh, uh, suppose the, the particular one kind of particular gene is uh, is uh, blocked or silenced for many many different generations that they do not need to production of that particular protein but whenever it is put inside a stressed environment where they, when they need those kind of proteins they eventually express that 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 gene or they express that gene and this gene expression helps them to produce that protein so that's why the the controlling or the controller is the cell nucleus it have all these things inside it it has the all signaling events or chemical balances but it it is the environmental situations it is the time which tell the cell what what is to be done but this kind of thing can be achieved only by changing or modifying the histone tails okay and that's uh, we are talking about now now here we are talking about three types of modification phosphate uh, of or phosphorylation sorry methylation and acetylation uh, respectively denoted with yellow red and uh, blue color now what are they meaning now another uh, important thing i must uh, st uh, say before I, uh, I go into other parts are that there are four different types of uh, subunits like h2a h2b h3 and h4 but among them uh, three of them like H2A, H2B and H4 are having almost same type of functionality, almost same type of modification but the H3 is having the most versatile modification of, of at all because all this three type of modification can easily be seen in case of H3 but it cannot be seen in case of H2A, H2B and H4. So we can see most of the time the acetylation on H2A, H2B and H4. So Acetylation is the most common event of all the modifications uh, rather than phosph phosphorylation and methylation. Okay. So let's first talk about this acetylation. So if acetylation, uh, if if uh, if it is tagged with this acetylation uh, marker, then H2, H2B, and H4 are the responsible regions for tagging them uh, with this. So as you can see here, 
uh, sorry here these are the h4 again uh, lots of blue that means they are tagged in such a way uh, tagged uh, via these acetylation markers now this acetyl mark acetylation marker means the gene to express so they need the gene to be expressed for for the future purposes right but in h3 we are having the variations so let's go on and uh, see what are the variations mean and if we are having no tagging that means the gene must be silent so no tagging always means the gene silencing now there is if there is any tag like this acetylation we have talked before that means the gene expression if we are having any tag with uh, this red that means the methyl uh, tagging or methylation tagging that means the gene silencing silencing and you know in case of eukaryotic cells the gene silencing means the production of different sets of chromatin structure they are called heterochromatin and in eukaryotic cell we are having two different chromatin structure one is heterochromatin which is silence which is carried out with uh, only genes uh, silenced genes and another one is the euchromatins which is filled with uh, the genes which are uh, actively taking part in all those uh, process like replication transcription translation and all this okay now if they are tagged with this phosphorylation tags that means means the cro the chromosome must be condensed so if a chromosome structure if a dna structure have to be condensed now this uh, uh, they must uh, they must be carry they must carry this phosphorylation signal if they are tagged with this phosphorylation they will recruit other proteins which will help uh, this DNA structures to fold and also they will recruit other histone octomers to make a very condensed chromosome structure okay these are the simple single modifications now uh, a, a dna structure is pretty long so uh, inside one segment of DNA there could be many different types of modification taggings right so in this case now I look multiple tagging on a particular DNA now in this DNA we are looking at both two type of tagging one is acetylation another one is a phosphorylation what it suggests whatever modification is tagged if there is a tagging of acetylation that means you are expressed you have to be expressed okay so the again the the meaning is gene expression in this case now if we are having only Methylation that means uh, the transcription elongation can also be proceeded sometimes uh, with this methylation tagging and you have seen this methylation sometimes make this gene silence but sometimes this methylation can also function the transcription elongation now why this kind of different parts because this, these things are making our understanding complicated right uh, but still now another very important concept comes in now you can see the region or specified region is really really important so this kind of tagging is not random because though there are lots of those uh, in terminal uh, residues and terminal chains but still this kind of tagging is not random we need to tag a particular residue to achieve a particular result okay for example uh, a, a DNA if it is tagged in this position for example suppose this is the nucleotide number 75 uh, from the centromere now, if we tag at this particular point it will silence the genome and it will make uh, it will take it and make into heterochromatin right but if we if we tag it right upstream of it for example in this case is a 40 uh, uh, number nucleotides or 40th nucleotides it, it makes uh, uh, it, it, it means the transcription elongation factor so it doesn't mean it is not at all uh, what kind of modification they are in but also where the modification is taking place that's also similarly important okay so so keep on this thing in your mind right so not only the type of modification but also the place of modification is important and as well as the time of modification that means the situation of modification when the cell whether the cell really need this modification or not they need to check it and then the modification takes place and another important thing which is uh, which is also uh, important for and, and, and on which this whole process depending on the availability of enzymes which can modify these things because whatever we are talking about is a type of tagging or modification but this kind of tag or modification can be done with the help of a proper enzymes okay for example if you need to have acetylation we have acetyl and acetylase enzyme if we need to have a uh, methylation we need to have a methylase enzyme and and if we need to have phosphorylation we have we need kinase which is a phosphorylating enzyme right so we need these different types of proteins to make these taggings 
and these are really really important and we'll see the different type of proteins and how they interact to make tagging in this picture now you can see in this case this is the histone octoma and this is the DNA sequence which is just covering this histone octoma now these are the N-terminal tails and H3, H4, H2, H2, H4B everything is just scattered around so this is the normal situation without uh, any kind of tagging so this, this histone is called uh, the unmodified this nucleosome rather uh, is called the unmodified nucleosome portion now if the DNA strand is modified with acetylase uh, which is the enzyme called HDAC or histone acetylase enzyme uh, this short abbreviation is called the HDAC now the histone uh, acetylase uh, um, sorry uh, yeah, no, no, sorry. Uh, actually, I have, uh, HDAC is not uh, the acetylating enzyme. Very, very uh, sorry for that. It's called the HAT or histone acetyl transferase. The enzyme is called the histone acetyl transferase or HAT HAT. Now, this enzyme transfers the acetyl group from other chemical component into this uh, N terminal tail of the histone and that makes this, this histone acetylated. And as a result, this 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 is uh, and you know this acetylation means the expression of the gene so uh, the DNA can be accessible for other round other proteins to make uh, a copy of transcript from the DNA okay or a copy of DNA from the DNA now this kind of uh, modification can be taken place with the help of a protein which must have the bromo domain now the protein I've talked before is called a histone acetylase have the bromo domain and they take the, with the help of the bromo domain they can they can transfer this histone uh, uh, they transfer this acetyl group from one to another or one uh, prime to another right okay now if we uh, need to tag this histone with methyl uh, group then we need another type of enzyme it is called the histone uh, methyl transferase this methyl transferase enzyme in case of this histone uh, will t will take uh, this methyl group from other chemical components and add or tag them onto this end strand of uh, or the end terminal portion of this uh, of this nucleo of the DNA in the uh, sorry of this nucleosome in this case so whatever we are doing we are not modifying the DNA remember inside the nucleosome modification the modification means the modification of nucleosome a modification of histone protein not the modification of DNA always the modification of histone proteins in this case okay when we try to access the DNA uh, we need to modify the histone that's the basic concept if you need to access the DNA you need to modify the histone okay now again in this case we need uh, the enzymes and the enzyme uh, we need in this case must have the chromo domain instead of bromo domain which we have seen in case of the acetyl transferase in this case we need the chromo domain this chromo domain containing enzyme can transfer this acid, uh, this methyl group from one place to another place and that can uh, that can be achieved with this kind of enzymes okay so these are uh, the way of how we can modify so if you need to access the dna modify the nucleosome modify uh, the the histone uh, onto which this DNA is wrapping, uh, wrapped around, right? Okay. So, that's it and I hope it will help you. Thank you.